The Electoral Commission says the planned protest by the NDC will amount to nothing. And this is the 17th of this month. Next week, Tuesday, the, the National Democratic Congress has given indication they're going to hit the streets about some issues they have with the electoral register as exhibited a couple of weeks ago. They've had the permission of the Ghana Police Service, in fact, the notification of the Ghana Police Service. They've agreed on the routes yesterday. But this is your election command center. So earlier today, the Electoral Commission is saying it is surprised the National Democratic Congress is now crying foul over the 2024 voters register, describing the party's call for a forensic audit as not necessary. According to Deputy Commissioner Samuel Tete, the NDC should have called for an audit in 2016 when the then register used in 2016 was replete with photos of plants and animals representing voters and for him it seems the ndc is now taking interest in the voters register for obvious reasons take a look the exhibition offers an avenue for the auditing of the register it unearths discrepancies and allows for prescribed legal processes to correct the discrepancies Perhaps this is the first time the NDC has taken interest in the register. Otherwise, one would have expected them to call for such an audit of the 2016 register, which contained photos of plants and animals representing voters. It is important to note that, contrary to what is being alluded, since 1992, the voters' register has never been audited. Well, so that's the Electoral Commission then. In fact, this, this statement is what's gotten some reactions. So let's stay a bit on this further. Dr. Rashid Tanko Computer is Deputy Director of IT and Elections for the NDC. He's joining us on Zoom. Appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Computer. Yeah, evening, Alfred. First of all, the Let me say evening to your cherished viewers. Okay, great. The Electoral Commission is saying that they requested for a copy of the discrepancies identified by you, the NDC, and, and you refused to give it to them. Correct? Now, their press conference has strengthened our position why we refuse to give them the document. What Tete has addressed has even strengthened our position that this is not a body that we should have confidence in. Why is that? This is not a body. Of course, listen, did you listen to what Tete said? That we should have called for audit of the 2016 register. Well, he says that, and, and we played the video. I'm sure you heard it. And our viewers I saw heard it. it. That he, he that says I... that in, 20, in 2016, you should have called for the audit because that register was riddled with, with plants and animals representing voters. Did you know this? Uh, Tete didn't start working as an electoral commissioner in 2017. Tete has been working at the electoral commission since 2008. He's been a staff from the local level up to the national level. So if today he's telling us something that he knew about, I'm surprised at him. And we are disappointed at him. You shouldn't forget that in 2016, the MPP presidential running mate, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, called for an audit of the register when he said 80,000 Togolese were in our register. What was the duty of Justice Craft Commission? The five man committee that went into the matter, were they auditing the register or they were playing dances in, 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 in the country? Was that not an audit? What is Tete talking about? When he said the register has never been audited since 92, has he forgotten that in 2012, you were under the auspices of UNDP, MPP called for an audit of the 
the IT system and the register, the biometric register, which Afarjan acceded to. Similar call was made in 2015, 2016 of the 80,000 Togolese issues. An audit was conducted by Justice Craft Committee. What is he talking about? You see, sometimes when they speak like this, it gives us more room to say that this electoral commission is a wing of the MPP. Because what is he talking about? When we came and told them about the pardon of the register with 243,000 voters, transfer voters of 2020-2023 to the 2020-2024 register, didn't they come out and said they did that deliberately just to let us uh, monitor the, the, the tran transfers of voters? Didn't Bosman address press and told the whole world that they made a mistake by adding that data of 2023 to the 2024 one? That is why the register was bloated for a Jumakon constituency. So when they are speaking, as if they don't listen to themselves. I see. But... Well, Please, I think just look at all that he said and then reflect it to what they have said previously. Well, but 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 that leads me back to the, the question I asked earlier, which you referenced the point that uh, Mr. Tete made about the 2016 elections being riddled with plants and, and animals in name in, in with, with names of voters. They say that you refuse to give them the discrepancies that you you identified and you have actually confirmed that yes you did not give it to them and i wanted to find out why you did not give it to them i am saying that we don't trust this electoral commission as it is constituted to do any better job this electoral commission that came out telling the whole world that they use coral draw to add the figures well it's not head of so how can you trust such a body so, and I'm saying that the same body that we wrote to them a petition about the conduct of a non-dom officer of electoral commission who stood on the platform of MPP and declared that he's an MPP man. And we wrote a petition against that. Up to now, what has come of that investigation? I see. But we so how do you, how do you, uh, Tango, how do you uh, expect that with the electoral commission not having the discrepancies you, you presented to them, they would be able to address those issues that we you are raised. Saying that, we are saying that when the MPP said 80,000 Togolese were in our register, it wasn't the Electoral Commission they asked that they should do it themselves. The Electoral Commission formed a committee headed by Justice Crab to look into the matter. What stopped them from forming a committee to look into the matter we are raising? That's the question we are asking. Why are they telling us that it's premature, it's, it's needless. Was it needless in 2016? When he was working as, as a staff of the Electoral Commission. So are we going to say that he was the one who put the trees and animals in the register? Peter, was he the one who did that? He was a staff there. He was a staff by that time, Electoral Commission. So today, if he's telling us that 2016, we had trees and animals, he was the people. He and his colleagues, they did those things. I see. But, so, and these are the things they do when we reply them, they say we are attacking Electoral Commission. But why, why wouldn't we want to give the Electoral Commission the discrepancies you've identified? I am saying that our trust level in Electoral Commission is zero. And we are saying that we don't trust their judgment in this. They have not shown enough As, faith. They have shown bad faith in whatever we are doing. When we met them, we indicated to them, we showed them certain items that they need to go through in the register to clean it because we indicated to them about the 243,000. We showed them the path. The 15,000 illegal transfers that cannot be traced in any of the absentee voters register. We showed it to them. We demonstrated it live. That is why they didn't want you, these media, to come in. If the media had come in, you think they would have been saying this kind of thing they are saying today? I see. So then they, they want you around the table instead of a, a demonstration on the streets. Will the demonstration address this issue? We've already sat with them around the table on Friday, last Friday, we were with them around the table and we discussed about it for more than three hours. We we're talking about the figures and all that. So which around the table are they talking about? We are saying that bring in external body to come and then we present the thing to them. Let them look at it. The 80,000 Togolese thing they were talking, they presented it to Justice Crab Committee 
Why didn't they ask uh, Charlotte Tosse to investigate it by themselves? So, so the demonstration is to call on them to what, allow for the forensic audit to take place? Yes, that is what we are asking for. We are asking for a forensic audit to go into... Look, their system is so vulnerable that if we don't sit up, this electoral commission will allow an illegal person to be president in, in this country. Well, and they say, that, they say that the forensic audit is, is not necessary because the issues you raised... Uh, don't have basis, essentially. They don't have basis. 243,000 plus, and you are telling me it's not have basis. When they admitted it themselves, what was the difference between Atamius and, and Nanado in 2008 election? Go and look at the difference. Go and look at the difference. People went to parliament with three votes. In Ghana, three, just three votes. Mm -hmm. And you are telling me that 243,000 illegal transfers it's, it's, it has no basis. You are telling me that 15,000 illegal transfer without the knowledge of the people, you are going to disenfranchise all these people. Because on election day, they'll go to their polling station, they don't see their names there. You have moved them from one poll, polling station to another. And because our eagle eyes are on, the, on you people, we have managed to identify all these things. And we are telling you that what you have done is illegal. You yourself have accepted that. Your system is vulnerable because people have money to get into your system, your own staff, and start manipulating the data. They said they are coming out with a report. Where is the report? When we met them on Friday, they told us that by Monday they will come out with a, 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 a report of how they managed to get those who have done those kind of illegal transfers using yeah. their system. Today is what? Friday, uh, Thursday. Well, th Thursday, Have they yes. given you any report? No, we haven't have received any report. We haven't received any when report. They, as when yet. they address their press today, did they talk about it? And you trust this kind of easy? They, so come, that, and, they come and be making this kind of cock and bull story and expect us to respect that. Listen to that kind of crap. We're not going to listen to this. Well, so the demonstration what is taking place. What an insult. He has insulted us. We have been involved in, in, in electoral processes since 1992. We participated in all the processes. And we made uh, 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 this in presentations when it matters uh, 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 come to the head, even in 2016, when the MPP called for the audit and mm -hmm. presented that there are 80,000, so-called 80,000 Togolese to Justice Scrap Committee, we made presentation. As a political party, we were interested. Right. As if he just became an electoral commissioner, or these people became electoral commissioner of Ghana uh, when MPP came into power. Ghana didn't come to... So the demonstration, uh, the, demonstration the demonstration is taking place Tuesday, regardless. We are coming out live on okay. Tuesday. In fact, we are calling on right-thinking Ghanaians who want to sustain our democracy, who want the life of our democracy, should come out in their numbers. To God, we are coming to protect the soul of our democracy. We cannot allow some few individuals to decide for us who should be our president. The country belongs to us. We are not going to allow that. Well, Dr. Computer, thank you. Thank you for joining us here. On I'm Ghana grateful. Tonight. Dr. Rashid Tanko Computer is Deputy Director of IT and Elections at the NDC, responding to a number of issues that the, the Electoral Commission raised at the press conference earlier today to put up some issues regarding the NDC's concerns they had raised about the voter exhibition exercise, and at least the voters register as was exhibited during that period. And in fact, a number of reactions and a number of you have been also commenting about that statement by the Deputy Chair of the Electoral Commission about plants and animals representing names of voters in 2016 as an issue, which in the coming days here on your Election Command Center, we'll, we'll spend a lot more time on it as well to understand what exactly could have been the implication of a situation like that.